Good afternoon everyone, Antarctic sea ice recovery. Sea ice growing faster than normal, where's the news? Arctic temperatures below the normal, where's the news? Super typhoon already in early April, Pacific Ocean spinning into nowhere. And something very unusual with the zonal winds in the Arctic Circle. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Now in this particular grand solar minimum, the southern hemisphere is leading the northern hemisphere by one season. Meaning that the effects on our planet are being felt first down in the southern hemisphere. So if you're going to do a projection of how intense the following seasons will be, you'll take a look here in the south right now. The strange and unusual snows across parts of Australia already. Super drought in South Africa. And here we go. Antarctic sea ice nearly about to break through that 1981 to 2010 average. Now, I'm really curious how they're going to try to explain this in the media when the gain from the Antarctic sea ice blows above that 1981 to 2010 average line. So if that's happening in the southern hemisphere, let's jump to the Arctic sea ice here and it's been growing faster than normal as well. So it's supposed to be melting, right? But it's growing. So we have it in both poles now. So this is Arctic sea ice extent graph. 2018 is the red line. You were told it's the lowest ever, but as you can see, clearly we're getting into something that's not the lowest. It's starting to break through these all-time record low years in recovery, and it's coming back. Now, how is this in April? And remember earlier how the media was just focusing on how warm the Arctic was, although that blue line is freezing, keep that in mind. So the average temperature of the Arctic was nowhere near the melting point. It was a single location around Greenland during that one instance where the blocking pattern allowed some what's considered warmer air at freezing to come up into. I circled in yellow there when it went below normal temperatures in the Arctic. Where was the media coverage on that? Where's the media coverage on the increasing Arctic ice in April and the recombining of the polar vortex about to bring record temperatures to the Arctic? Where was the media talking about Antarctic ice? Amazing growth again, truly astounding. It's supposed to be going the opposite direction from everything you're being fed in the media, but it's not. Let's talk about other strange anomalies happening. Category five typhoon, super typhoon already formed last days of March very defined eye coming out of this to the west would be the philippines taiwan and a little bit to the north and west that's japan coastline now where's it spinning to nobody really knows but here's the forecast it's off the taiwan weather bureau and as it heads into more northerly cooler waters it's definitely going to dissipate but it's interesting how it started at a super typhoon status already this early in the year which brings us right up to these zonal winds one of my subscribers sent this in for me. I thank you so much for this graph. I never would have found this on my own. This is a nugget right here. So we're looking at the 2017-2018 zonal wind at 65 degrees north latitude at 10 millibars. So these are upper atmospheric winds. And when you look at this, the zonal winds have shifted. This is a complete divergence out of the norm. If that dark gray is one standard deviation and that light gray is two standard deviations and we're way outside that. And we're talking about the grand solar minimum, the weakening magnetosphere, the jet streams going out of their normal flow. This is another example right here. Now we also have a super typhoon forming in March in the Pacific. Now what is it with these winds that have just shifted and changed? This is what destroys our global crop yield. Our seasons are no longer reliable and stable for you to plant at a certain time or harvest at a certain time. Look around the northern hemisphere right now. It is still snow on the ground where they should be planting. It is flooded where it should be dry and it is a mess to try to get the crops in the ground on time. And what I mean also is let's take a look at the ski resorts. These are European ski resorts here. 
They'll stick us out to April 3rd. Look at how much snow is still coming down. These are the European Alps. 121 centimeters. Now remember, if you're in the U.S., it's 30 centimeters for a foot. So you're still looking at four feet coming down. It should not be snowing this much still. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. As you can see, wherever you look, the indications of the intensification of the grand solar minimum are all around us. From the increasing ice at both poles, winds going out of phase, jet streams are shifting because of a weakening magnetosphere. And I hope you can use this information in charts. You can press the pause button and take a look at things a little bit longer. You can share with your friends and family. I tried to leave this as HD so you could truly grab it as a screen grab and share it as an informational chart.